Uh, what's up, YouTube? Got uh, uh, updated deck for you guys. Um, the battery deck that you guys can see that I've been playing in Dueling Network, or just in general. Um, I updated a little more. I did top with this deck, so furthermore, let's get into the monsters. Of course, Triple A Battery Man. Um, it's just a good um first turn roach if you draw both or have one in the grave or um just go utopia or any other rank force so it's really good um flame veil dogs uh combos great with flame veil magicians when you run over a monster and go to grave special and um magician you basically attack for 14 then you could synchro or exceed to level 4 uh, so it's really good, um, helps thin out the deck also and set up for other plays, of course. Uh, Double Debris, um, I know it's going to be a new format but this is for this format. I also have the cards that you could switch out for next format, so Double Debris. Um, we all know how good he is. Double right goes just mailing certain cards in the grave, um, it's really good. Um, these two are uh, really great. Uh, Marauding Captain with Flame Valve Magician, Instant Black Rose, or um, with Sangin. You know, you know how Tor guy is good with Sangin. Well, same thing. Uh, same thing with Dandy. It's really good. Uh, there's so many plays you could do with Marauding Captain. Same thing with Goblin Bird. Uh, you first turn. Um, Roach right there, and you set up your grave with batteries, or you could go summon, summon, synchro for Stardust, synchro. It's just really good. Goblin Bird's amazing. Or you could go summon, exceed, or summon, run over your monster, bring out magician, synchro, and you have a fodder for um scrap dragon stuff like that. Um, so those are. Uh, the really good monsters, they're underrated. Um, Gore for OTK reasons. We all know we all hate OTKs or one big push. Uh, one Kaius, I have a bunch of floaters, and there's always a monster on the field, so Kaius is really good, amazing. Um, also, same thing, Summoner Monk, uh, first turn with Flame Valve Magician, uh, Battery Mans, Exceed, uh, helps you thin out your deck, and Get your plays ready. Uh, Sangin, of course, uh, stitches out a lot of key cards that you want. Um, Dandy and Globe is just amazing. Uh, Synchroing um, with Debris, or you know, it, you know how good in general they are. Um, to stop your opponent from going off, Maxi and uh, Fek Veiler actually just got this Maxi, so I'm barely gonna test it out, but. Effect Veiler has been working fine. Uh, Marana Captain to Sangin, search for Effect Veiler, it's really good. Or Max D, now I'm going to be able to search it. I could go, uh, what's going call it? I could go Marana Captain, uh, Sangin, search for Max D, just draw power. I actually got this for uh, Dark End Dragon, the, not the expensive one, but the cheap one, and like, eight dollars so it was really good and Treeborn and Fishboard just for um formulas each turn or different plays cause you could use it with Debris or you could use it with Flame Valve Fire Dog Magician and you got your instant Trish so I mean it looks all random but it really works um for spells we got Double Rekindling uh Lake Rekindling just is amazing or even first turn, you know, you synchro to start us, then you rekindling again, and you go into steel storm roach. Um, double pot of avarice, um, you know, get those. You could get the maxi back, the effect barriers, stuff like that. Um, synchro succeed, etc. Um, staples, of course. And uh, personal tech, lightning vortex. Nobody really sees this coming. Plus, I don't want to waste my normal summon on Treeborn, so I usually pitch it. Or I pitch it with Dandy, create place with that, or even Glow Up, or 
even fish board, uh, it's really good to send cards that you don't want to waste your summon on. Econ, because you have Treeborn, you know, you Econ with Treeborn, you all know how good this card is with Treeborn. Econ with Treeborn, get their monster, then you fish board, go into Formula Draw 1, X X Synchro. Uh, mind control is really good in the game. Uh, Polish uh, for to send out fish board, tree board, etc. Um, one book and double magic cylinders. Um, this is better than deep prison in my opinion. With all the tangus and exceeds running around um, and warnings, uh, life points matter so magic cylinder brings them down gives uh, gives me better advantages uh Daver, double malamin catastrophe a bunch of back row still in this format so and torrential and mirror force uh if you guys want to know what i'm gonna be putting when the balance comes out uh i have it somewhere okay i got it um of course we're gonna be putting Rhoda, Kale Sorcerer, and Heavy Storm. Probably take out the Malavin Catastrophe for MST inside in the Malavins. Uh, cause we do have a bunch of darks and lights, so Kale Sorcerer or BLS. And since Formula is going to one, Levier will be good, since I'm gonna be playing Double Necrogarna. And it also goes with Rhoda, also good with Marauding Captain. You go. Uh, Marauding Captain, Necrogarna, UXC to Leviathan, send this. Uh, you already got Necrogarna in the grave and you got a free uh, exceed. So, really good. Um, extra deck, uh, of course. Uh, Double Utopia, uh, really good with Battery Man. Just gives you instant level 4 exceeds. Tell 2. Uh, one Roach is actually amazing uh, with setting it with Magic Cylinder and Effect Razor in hand. Um, it's a little hard to run it over. Uh, one Leviathan, number 17, really good. I don't have Trish, so Miss Worm will do. Um, Scrap Dragon, Colossal, and Stardust, staples for level 8 synchros. Um, double Black Rose, because I could just blow up for no reason to never run uh, all those cards. Iron Chain, I still don't really like Dodger Dragon. I prefer this. Uh, Brio, Tester, and two formulas. Uh, so that's the extra deck. Uh, if you guys want to see the um, side, I have it right here. Um, double Morphing Jars for 6 sands or decks that just go all off and have a Stardust. Uh, Morphin Jar does the job really good. Um, double Cyber Dragons, um, Machinas or Anti Meta Gadget or whatever. Um, double DD Crows, really gonna be good this format. Um, got a DT from my friend. Uh, shout out to you. I'll put your link. Uh, double Poker Plants, I don't know if these are gonna be good next format, but heroes are running around so. I guess public plants will do. Uh, scarecrows, cause light ones are gonna be huge. Scarecrows gonna shut them down for that one turn, and then I come back. Double so really same thing. Light ones or just decks based on grave. So release is really good. Um, my double MSTs and a burial to bring back necrogarnas and cards that get removed by Trish or something. Uh, so that's the deck you guys uh, Let me know what you guys think and about this upgrade on the maxis and stuff like that um, You could also side in fossil dinas. I usually play fossil dinas Since my friend always uses my chimera tech. I usually take these out and put fossil dinas uh, Really helps um, So yeah guys that's the deck so let's YouTube